We were remiss if I didn't ask you both about the news of the day. And we've just gotten word that the president has signed an executive order um, overturning the policy of separating um, families at the border. And, and I first generally just want to get both of your reactions uh, to, the, to the president doing that this afternoon. That's a good thing. Uh, after Hurricane Katrina, there was researchers at LSU Health Science Center that found separation between a mother and her new, new or near newly born child actually had an enduring impact. And so just approaching as a physician, if you will, I think it's good policy. Uh, approaching as an American, I think it's good policy. We still have to secure our border. We have to make sure that this doesn't give folks a, a, a way to circumvent our law. But, but as regards separating children from their parents, it's something we should not be doing. I, I agree with Bill. I, I would add, and we may not agree on some things today, but I would add that it, to me it, it was just shameful because this was a manufactured crisis that didn't have to happen. We have enough in this country to, to keep us <laughs> occupied without causing these kinds of problems. And, uh, and we sent a, single, a signal out to the entire world that in the name of the American people, we were separating children from their parents. And I think we need to grapple with that. I've got three daughters at home. I dropped one off today on my way to work. And I said, I just want to apologize to you because the, the country that I grew up in would never do this. So, Senators, President Trump had said previously to today that this was a congressional problem, that Congress needed to take care of this. So I wonder if you both think that Congress should be responsible for coming up with some kind of long-term solution to handle families that come across the border illegally. Yes. I mean, that is something which is going to take deliberation. Uh, and, um, and I do think it's going to have a more enduring um, positive impact if it is something which is bipartisan. And it won't be reversed by someone's executive order next time. So simple answer, yes. So I would just add on, on, on to what Bill just said, which is we have to get to a place in our politics again where we're actually legislating to create enduring results. This idea of going back and forth every two years just because of who won an election, that, that's something new in our politics. It's not the way it used to operate. And um, the founders of this country who were creating the first real democratic republic that humankind ever had knew that at the heart of that republic, we would have disagreements. That was the whole point, to not have a tyrant tell you what to think. And we behave in these legislative <clears throat> halls like you can't make a compromise that's principled or that any compromise is unprincipled. And that's another way of saying we'll never get anything done until there's one party rule. And on the subject of immigration, I would say, as part of the Gang of Eight in 2013 that wrote a bipartisan bill, that secured our borders, that provided internal security, that created a pathway to citizenship for the 11 million people here that were undocumented, that dealt with our agriculture workers, that dealt with high tech. That was a bipartisan effort that took seven months, got a 68 vote, bipartisan vote on the floor of the Senate, never saw the light of day in the House of Representatives because of the tyranny of the Freedom Caucus. And if the president would like to find a model that really does secure our border and does it in a humane way, uh, there's a lot to recommend that piece of legislation.